you very much, Janos, for the introduction. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like um, to thank uh, uh, the invitation uh, for the panel discussion. And I also would like to emphasize that um, at this moment, unfortunately, I'm not in Kursk, but uh, I had the privilege to uh, visit the campus last week. And I was not just impressed by the campus itself, but also uh, by this uh, uh, intellectual atmosphere. And I'm very uh, happy that uh, today I can contribute uh, to this uh, as a finance uh, expert. Uh, my uh, talk will differ a little bit because uh, I decided not to uh, use the PowerPoint presentation since uh, previously we uh, talked with uh, Janos that uh, I will be uh, uh, the last in the panel discussion. Unfortunately, I'm in a worse situation because I'm full with notes that I would like to reflect, but um, uh, I was uh, very uh, impressed by the uh, previous presentation, especially uh, when I heard about these uh, evolutionary uh, aspects from uh, Professor Brooks. I'm, uh, I'm dealing with banking uh, and the evolution of banking or the evolution of banking uh, regulation is always associated with crisis. So bank regulations change or were uh, changing always when uh, there was a bankruptcy or uh, there were big uh, financial crises. Uh, so it's a great opportunity as a financial expert to discuss the topic uh, global crisis and sustainable uh, future. Um, and uh, I totally agree with, with Sonia that uh, from this year, February the uh, 24th, uh, we entered into a new era. So first of all, being a financial expert after the Russian-Ukrainian war also means sometimes to be a military expert as well, uh, because uh, if you uh, take a look at the measures made by the governments, uh, uh, most of the measures were uh, addressing the economy, most of the measures were uh, addressing the financial system. Uh, but the question is why? And that's why I'm very happy that I don't have to now have the PowerPoint because I usually have to show lots of numbers, lots of data. But now uh, we don't just address the uh, policy measures, but rather the issues that are underlying these uh, measures. And uh, there were two very uh, important uh, words that I uh, wrote here on my paper while I was uh, this, uh, listening to the previous, uh, uh, previous uh, talks. Uh, one is identity uh, and the second is trust. Uh, identity that's rather uh, more important for uh, the European Union as an economic actor, but the most important is trust, uh, because societies, economies and the financial system is uh, based on trust. And uh, there is a very important uh, issue that uh, Timothy just mentioned at the end, and uh, Professor Bogardi also in the introduction, uh, uh, the word inflation. So. If uh, the uh, Professor Brooks is in uh, Toronto, if someone else in, in Ghana or in Budapest or Kursag in Berlin, uh, I'm quite sure that uh, everyone can feel uh, the inflation uh, in the world. So that means that uh, this is not just um, economic or not just a, a financial problem, or it's not just a problem that a banker or a central banker uh, has to deal with, but also uh, the politicians, but uh, the white um, uh, society in general. Um, I would like to uh, highlight that if we take a look at the economic history, either worldwide or in Hungary or in Germany or wherever, uh, when there was uh, inflation and big uh, inflation in the history, there was always um, change in the underlying uh, economic, business uh, and political environment. Uh, and um, I think that uh, this will be also true for uh, the current situation. Uh, that means that uh, from this year, February, and taking also into consideration the COVID as well, because uh, as Professor Book said, there was the pandemic and that problem. Now we have the 
pandemic war and death uh, uh, problem because the, the pandemic is still an, uh, an issue that is not solved. Uh, so we, uh, I mean, we financial experts or financial uh, decision makers or central bankers have a special role, finance ministers as well, a special role in solving these problems. And my uh, message uh, in this uh, discussion is that uh, I was happy that uh, Professor Bogarty told me to uh, be the last because in this situation that we are uh, having worldwide uh, today, uh, the financial uh, leaders and financial decision makers should be also the last. What does it mean? I mean by this that uh, usually if we speak about budgeting, if we speak about fiscal policy, take a look at the United States, uh, European Union, Hungary, uh, whatever country we can say, usually uh, the method is that we speak about uh, the income, so the taxes uh, mainly, and then the expenses expenditures we can have some kind of uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, deficit three percent four percent five percent but we can spend uh, the money only uh, or we can spend only uh, that money that we have as income from the taxes in the last two years there was a big change in the economic and financial thinking because of the covid uh, because government uh, i mean we were in a situation that uh, has not uh, happened uh, before uh, in the economic history. Uh, from one day to the other, uh, sectors stopped working. Uh, there, was, uh, there was a great need of financing. And um, since um, many uh, cases, uh, if you attend a conference, uh, read research papers, you can read this word sustainability. Long time ago, you know, it was a political uh, slogan uh, for the Green parties, but uh, it, I think it uh, ceased to uh, exist or shouldn't be an ideology because it is very uh, practical issue. So sustainability became a uh, financial uh, issue as well, and not just uh, financial, also a question of uh, uh, national security or, uh, or, or if I can say security issue of a country of um, the European Union or if we speak about uh, uh, continents. Um, if we uh, want to know why, then we have to come back to this uh, first issue, the, the inflation. So uh, there are, I mean, I cannot name or hardly can name uh, areas where the increase of the prices were not uh, two digit. Uh, especially there are some areas where the increase was higher, actually that I wouldn't call it inflation, you know, because if the uh, price of a product is double or triple time than it used to be a year ago, then, mm, you know, that's not the uh, inflation that we uh, usually mean because uh, usually economists, when we speak about moderate inflation, that's maximum uh, two digit, but rather is close to zero, to zero, three, zero, two, zero, three, at most uh, four percentage. But uh, if you take a look at the energy sector, food, housing, whatever, everywhere in the world, and I'm not just speaking about Hungary and the European Union, so these um, uh, processes are shocking. And um, the question is then uh, that uh, what can we do? Uh, and um, then that's coming back to the first um, uh, lectures of the evolution and uh, the uh, the need for uh, survival. Uh, the financial system was very creative always. Uh, if you take a look uh, at the history of uh, central banks uh, or commercial banks, they always um, uh, solved the uh, issues concerning regarding uh, their existence. And there is uh, the financial system is uh, the most interconnected and there is a great uh, interdependency uh, among the uh, players, among the uh, banks as well. And um, my uh, message is that uh, sustainability uh, should be uh, solved the way uh, or should have some kind of framework that we have in the banking system, especially in the, uh, with the central banks. 
because the central banks, uh, they coordinate always the uh, policy measures. And this coordination is one of the best um, in the world. So it's not just a G7 or G20 uh, framework, it's a G60 or G60 plus where uh, all the, uh, all the uh, national um, uh, com uh, central banks uh, leaders uh, take part in the discussion and uh, they try to use uh, try to develop uh, global standards uh, this is uh, what we need now as well uh, in order to uh, have uh, sustainability that is or that uh, cannot be just a buzzword uh, professor uh, brooks said there were two words that i also uh, no um, noticed uh, we need to have uh, pragmatic and uh, creative solutions. And that's absolutely true for the financial uh, aspect uh, of uh, solving these issues. So uh, the national governments, and not just the national governments, but G7 countries, G20 framework, should develop um, uh, investing facilities uh, to our problem. So, uh, when we address these problems, the first should be uh, that we focus on the solution. So, for example, Professor Bogardi deals with uh, water problems. Then we, I mean, we as uh, financial experts or uh, monetary policy, fiscal policy decision makers should listen to uh, these concerns and to this solution and try to find uh, ways to finance it. This is, uh, or this is what I regard um, as um, uh, a financial contribution to, to sustainability, and it needs uh, a very big change uh, in the mindset uh, and uh, in the way we teach economics and teach finance. Uh, we need more discussion like that among uh, different uh, researchers, experts from, uh, from other fields. So actually, basically, that was my, uh, these were my most important points, but I'm happy to answer later in the discussion. Thank you very much, Tomasz, for this 